Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is The Earth in the Solar System. Question number 1. Which of the following is not a member of the solar system? Option A. An asteroid. Option B. A satellite. Option C. A constellation. Option D. A comet. The correct answer is Option C. A constellation. A constellation. Concept Insight A constellation is not a member of the solar system. Constellations are groups of stars that form recognizable shapes. Question number 2. Which of the following is not a planet of the Sun? Option A. Sirius. Option B. Mercury. Option C. Saturn. Option D. Earth. The correct answer is Option A. Sirius. Sirius. Sirius is a star and not a planet of the Sun. Question number 3. Phases of the Moon occur because Option A. We can see only that part of the Moon which reflects light towards us. Option B. Our distance from the Moon keeps changing. Option C. The shadow of the Earth covers only a part of the Moon's surface. Option D. The thickness of the moon's atmosphere is not constant. The correct answer is. Option A. We can see only that part of the moon which reflects light towards us. Phases of the moon occur because we can see only that part of the moon which reflects light towards us. Question number 4. The planet which is farthest from the sun is underscore. Option A. Neptune. Option B. Saturn. Option C. Mars. Option D. Jupiter. The correct answer is. Option A. Neptune. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and farthest planet from the sun. At a distance of about 4.5 billion kilometer, 2.8 billion miles, or 30.07 astronomical units. Question number 5. The planet which appears reddish in color is underscore. Option A. Earth. Option B. Mars. Option C. Venus. Option D. Jupiter. The correct answer is Option B. Mars. The planet which appears reddish in color is Mars. Question number 6. A group of stars that appear to form a pattern in the sky is known as a underscore. Option A. Asteroid. Option B. Meteor. Option C. Constellation. Option D. Shooting stars. The correct answer is Option C. Constellation. A group of stars that appear to form a pattern in the sky is known as a constellation. The two well known constellations are Ursa Major and Orion. Question number 7. Shooting stars are actually not underscore. Option A. Meteor. Option B. Asteroid. Option C. Constellation. Option D. Satellite. The correct answer is Option A. Meteor. A shooting star is really a small piece of rock or dust that hits Earth's atmosphere from space. It moves so fast that it heats up and blows as it moves through the atmosphere. Shooting stars are actually what astronomers call meteors. Most meteors burn up in the atmosphere before they reach the ground. Question number 8. Asteroids are found between the orbits of underscore and underscore. Option A. Mars. Jupiter. Option B. Earth. Mars. Option C. Saturn. Uranus. Option D. Uranus. Neptune. The correct answer is 
Option A. Mars, Jupiter. Asteroids are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids are small, rocky substances which are more irregular in shape that orbits the Sun. Question number 9. Mercury is the smallest planet of the solar system. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option A. True. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's just a little bigger than Earth's moon. Question number 10. Constellation Orion can be seen only with a telescope. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option B. False. False. Concept Insight. Constellation Orion can be seen during winters around late evenings. It is one of the most magnificent constellations in the sky, visible to the naked eyes. Question number 11. In which part of the sky can you find Venus if it is visible as an evening star? Option A. Western sky. Option B. Northern sky. Option C. Eastern sky. Option D. Southern sky. The correct answer is Option A. Western Sky Venus appears in the western sky just after sunset and is called the evening star. Question number 12. Name the largest planet of the solar system. Option A. Saturn. Option B. Uranus. Option C. Jupiter. Option D. Neptune. The correct answer is Option C. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system by far is Jupiter, which beats out all the other planets in both mass and volume. Jupiter's mass is more than 300 times that of Earth, and its diameter, at 1,40,000 km, is about 11 times Earth's diameter. Question number 13. Do all the stars in the sky move? Option A. Yes. Option B. No. Option C. Maybe. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. No. No. The Earth rotates from west to east on its axis. Hence, all stars in the sky, except the pole star, appear to move from east to west. With reference to the Earth. The pole star does not appear to move in the sky because it is located above the axis of rotation of the Earth in the north direction. It appears to remain stationary at a point in the sky. Question number 14. Which one of the following is better known as morning and evening star? Option A. Neptune. Option B. Mercury. Option C. Proxima Centauri. Option D. Venus. The correct answer is Option D. Venus. Venus is normally referred to as the evening star because it can be seen shining in the evening sky right after the sun sets in the west. This planet is also called the morning star when its orbital position changes causing it to appear bright in the morning rather than in the evening. Question number 15. The constellation, of which pole star is a part, is Option A. Ursa Major. Option B. Ursa Minor. Option C. Orion. Option D. Scorpio. The correct answer is. Option B. Ursa Minor. With regard to planet Earth, the pole star refers to Polaris. Polaris is located in the constellation of Ursa Minor, the Little Bear. Question number 16. Out of the following, the only one that is a galaxy, is Option A. Alpha Centauri Option B. Jupiter Option C. Halley's Comet Option D. The Milky Way
The correct answer is Option D. The Milky Way Alpha Centauri is the closest star system to the solar system at 4.37 light years from the Sun. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and the largest in the solar system. Halley's Comet or Comet Halley, officially designated 1P Halley, is a short period comet visible from Earth every 75 to 76 years. The Milky Way is the galaxy that contains our solar system. The name describes the galaxy's appearance from Earth, a hazy band of light seen in the night sky formed from stars that cannot be individually distinguished by the naked eye. Question number 17. What is the direction of rotation of Earth? Option A. West to East. Option B. East to West. Option C. South to North. Option D. North to South. The correct answer is Option A. West to East. When viewed above the North Pole, the Earth rotates counterclockwise, from West to East. This is also called a prograde rotation. Because of this direction of rotation, we see the sun rising every day in the east and setting in the west. Question number 18. How much time is required for rotation of Earth? Option A. 22 hours. Option B. 24 hours. Option C. 25 hours. Option D. 20 hours. The correct answer is Option B. 24 hours. Earth rotates once in about 24 hours with respect to the Sun, but once every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds with respect to other, distant, stars. See below. Earth's rotation is slowing slightly with time, thus, a day was shorter in the past. Question number 19. What is meant by revolution of Earth? Option A. The spinning of the Earth about its own axis is called rotation of the Earth. Option B. The motion of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. The motion of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. The motion of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. It takes the Earth 365 days to complete its revolution around the Sun. Question number 20. What is meant by rotation of Earth? Option A. The spinning of the Earth about its own axis is called rotation of the Earth. Option B. The motion of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. The spinning of the Earth about its own axis is called rotation of the Earth. The spinning of the Earth about its own axis is called rotation of the Earth. Earth's rotation is the rotation of planet Earth around its own axis. Earth rotates eastward in prograde motion. Question number 21. Which is the star nearest to the Earth? Option A. Alpha Centauri. Option B. Proxima Centauri. Option C. Sun. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Sun. The Sun is the closest star to Earth, about 93 million miles away. Question number 22. Name the gas found in stars. Option A. Helium. Option B. Carbon dioxide. Option C. Nitrogen. Option D. Hydrogen. The correct answer is Option D. Hydrogen. Basically, stars are big exploding balls of gas, mostly hydrogen and helium. Our nearest star, the Sun is so hot that the huge amount of hydrogen is undergoing a constant star-wide nuclear reaction, like in a hydrogen bomb. Thank you for watching the video. 
If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.